ticket to Sunday's final against either Mexico or Panama. Here we go. Welcome meeting on Tuesday. I love it. Game on Thursday. All right, guys, let's get right into this here. Um, boom. What we're trying to do together, right? Change soccer in America forever. Who's up for that challenge? Raise your hand. What does that mean, Brendan, to you? Um, to, to beat the big teams, to compete with the best. And Mark, how are we going to do that? Yeah. Yeah. But what else? Wes, what else? Buying into sacrificing everything that we can to get there. Yeah, I mean that's the important thing guys, is we basically I want you to look at it like this. We have two and a half years. Two and a half years to keep chipping away at trying to do this. And it's gonna be hard. Right? It's so easy for me to put this slide up. Look, it looks nice. We have some graphics on it, some monotone colors and it looks all nice but the hard thing is actually doing it and what we're saying is two and a half years of your lives investing in trying to get this done and it's not just here that we're trying to do it it's at your clubs right it's every single day this is what's in your mind that we're trying to do that if you have that mindset right if you have that collective idea of this is what we're trying to do we can do it but it's just about the mindset of trying to get that done, right? For us, specifically, what are we gonna be? A team with an unbreakable culture. A team with a distinct identity and playing style. And a team that expects to win against the elite of international soccer. Right, we talk about that. When we line up against any team, we expect to win that game. And that's what we're building towards. We have the opportunity to be a top team. This is our trophy, right? We're leaving on Sunday with it in our hands. turnaround obviously playing Thursday Sunday we don't have too much time to prepare some guys were getting in um, Sunday like myself Sunday night some guys were getting in Monday night so it's really only one or two days of training and then uh, having to you know turn around quickly and get into game mode be complacent we have to be ready to, to face a team that's gonna fight they have an opportunity now you know in the semi-final to, to win this as well so um, it's gonna be a tough first match and we, we have to be uh, we have to be on top of our game is ours. We go home with it, right? The only way to do that is get past tonight. And you guys said it yourselves. Killer instinct, outwork them, let the ball run. That's how, I, that's how we get it done. We go all in, boys. CP, what do you got? 
No, yesterday in the media, they were asking me, you know, what's going to be like against Mexico in the final. Let's not make that mistake. Let's win this game right now. Come on. Let's go. One at a time, baby. On three, USA. One, two, three. USA! Making one change right now, Joe, you're gonna stay here. Wesson gonna move to right back. Gio's gonna go into midfield. The message was to attack the spaces that they were leaving behind and you know, use the ball. I tried to do my best and uh, get in behind as often as I could. After that win, we kind of knew we were going to go on to win the game. The name of the game is Surviving Advancing. And by the way, we were on the f***ing brink. And you guys came back. And you kept fighting. You kept going. You should be proud of that, man. Was it perfect? No. Can we get better? Of course. But guys, be proud of your fucking effort tonight, man. You're disappointed sometimes, you don't get called in, you don't get on the final roster, and then shit happens. And then all of a sudden your number's called, and you fucking step up in a big way, big man. Man of the match, how'd you like it? Initially when Greg gave me the call, I was on my way uh, to the airport with my family. We had a vacation planned, so um, yeah. Called me kind of out of the blue when he called me, wasn't really expecting it. And uh, yeah, when I got on the phone, Greg basically uh, gave me the rundown and told me I had an injury in the team and uh, he'd like for me to come into camp. Yeah, my mom told me um, this is an opportunity for me that I can't really turn down. And it's exciting for me to be here with the national team and uh, to show what I can do. Yeah, it wasn't a good start for us. I think, um, yeah, usually when things like that happen, you kind of just try and stay in your skin. And uh, you know, the goal, the goal happened so early that we really didn't really change our game plan. We still had loads of time to, to score a goal and maybe get two. So I think um, in those situations, we really just keep playing our game and uh, don't really fluctuate from the plan, plan too much. You know, when, when uh, it's the 90th minute and there's a corner, uh, there's that chance, you know? So I'm glad that uh, we scored and I was so happy. I, I jumped and I went to celebrate with everyone. Yeah. Five years ago, we were together in Houston and we went to go visit Frank Rubio, and he told us a story. We said, when are, you going to go to, when are you going to go to space? And his answer was, I have no idea. But I'm just going to keep training and preparing for one day if I get called, I'm going to be ready. And it turns out that three years after we met him, he finally got the call to go to space. Three years of preparation, not knowing what's around the corner he gets the call to go to space. And when he's up in space, guess what? It goes wrong. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. it yeah. Wrong, <laughs> right? He ends up being in space for 370 days, setting the record for any American ever up in space. And the reason why I'm so excited to bring him back to see you guys again is because it's exactly everything that we do. It's exactly, you know, we have to stick to a process. We have to work time and time again, and you never know when the payoff's going to come. You never know when your opportunity's going to come, but that's why you prepare. And when things go wrong, we respond. Right? That's one of our mantras. That's one of our values, right? We respond in a good way, in a positive way. So, Frank... It's a pre pleasure to introduce you to the group Thanks, again Coach. for those that haven't met you, and we're honored to have you here. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, guys. I, I've got a cool story. So, um, first of all, amazing win the other day. That's the kind of win that just makes me like, hell yeah. You know, uh, I know you probably gave your coaches a heart attack, uh, but the fact that the grit you showed, the effort you showed up until the very last second, and then having it paid off, 
Like that's the stuff that builds character and will, will change your life, right? Like you'll remember that win more than probably a whole lot of other wins. So congrats and, and great job on that. Um, but I did fly this jersey um, with your all, well, four of you have your signature on here. Uh, the rest of you uh, will have to fly another one. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to give this back to you guys um, and hopefully hang it up in USA Soccer and it, you know, just to know that a little bit of you went to space. I mean, I think combination of a cup final and playing against Mexico, there's no more motivation needed for the players. We know what this team is like. We've played against them uh, so many times. I've been thankful enough to have not been beaten by them yet. Um, it's been, uh, it's an enjoyable game every time we play them, whether the atmosphere is against us or for us. It's something we thrive on. Um, and, you know, it's such a big rivalry. It's something that it's always been enjoyable to play in. And, we want to go into this game uh, ready for the fight and hopefully our quality takes over as well and if we outwork them then we get the result. The best rivalry in the region is underway. It's the United States and Mexico in the Nations League final. Yo, look, I ain't saying that I'm rich. Cause if I'm honest, I have never been. But when I look at all these other kids, I feel just a little bit ahead of them. You should know the business is competitive. There's a lot of people that I'm better And all I ever spent Stop pretending like you poppin' Who been out here making profit Told my mama that I got this I wonder if she noticed what my job is I don't know how I'ma make it But I know no matter what I'm finna find a way All my homies finna eat and I ain't let it know And all my team look at an empty plate Yeah, yeah, yeah Went from a boy to a man the battle, we're ready to go. We're pressing them, they're letting balls go under their foot, they're missing passes, they're insecure right now. And we can kill them now. Now is when we put the hammer down. Holistic towards the byline. Oh, it's cheeky. Cross the area, and it's off a of break, and headed away. Well, as far as Gio Reyna! simple things, being a good person, right, because you're, you're never going to do hard things without other people around you. Being competent, especially on a team, you want your, your teammates to know what they're doing and do their part. When you screw up, they'll give you the benefit of the doubt because we all screw up, right? There's no such thing as perfect people. The world you guys live in is, is incredibly hard. Staying humble, I think, is, is probably one of the hardest things. You've worked so hard, it goes back to not, not just how people will perceive you, but the way you drive yourself. When you're humble about your abilities and you're humble about where you're at, you're more likely to push it. It's a team sport, right? So the team chemistry is, is the number one thing in that. Uh, and that did help. Uh, the, my crew was two cosmonauts, and we got along fantastically well. Uh, and I think for all of us, we walked away being like, man, that was awesome. But it was all because of the dynamics we had as, as a crew.